Hey, Alfonso the Elf here, reporting to you from Santa Claus's office. Ho, ho, ho! He has been a naughty boy. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I don't know what. Lump of coal, probably. Lump of coal. I'm gonna get some questions from the big man himself today. Hey, I've been on a diet. Well, yeah, it looks like you lost a lot of weight. Where'd it all go? Stress of the job, Alfonso. Stress of the job. I mean, have, have you ever had to hear kids cry? I, I mean, here in this very office work. alone, Mrs. Downey's grandchild Jackson comes in here. He has been a naughty boy. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I don't know what... Lump of coal, probably. Lump of coal. But he cries. I hate it when kids cry. And when I get the wrong toy for the wrong kid... And have you ever gone down the chimney? and there'd been a fire in the fireplace. You talk about whoo, warm buns in the oven. Not real good. <laughs> stress of the job. Jeez. Stress of the job. Stress of the job. So has this stress affected your magic? Oh no, I always have something up my sleeve. Always. A little bit hairy. So that your magic comes from your hair. It comes from my hair. That's right. That's you... why Mr. Smith doesn't have any magic. You heard it here first, folks. Santa's magic comes from his body hair. Awesome. Have you ever had any accidents using this power? I imagine a sh mishap on shaving accidents. would cause problems. They wrote a song about it. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Magic gone bad. So, speaking of Grandma here, can you tell us the true story of what happened to her that fateful night? She didn't look the road both ways before she crossed the road. I was running late. I went through a red light. Sorry, Mr. Allen. Don't give me a ticket. You give me a ticket, I'll give you a lump of coal, buddy. So, how do you get into the houses that don't have chimneys? Magic. Magic? Magic. You just teleport yourself in there with your arm hairs? No. Fuck a couple? Get no. In. I break a window. Break a window? Just just like breaking in, breaking and entering. Santa's sometimes been a bad boy, but... That's why I live in the North Pole. North Pole's kind of like Green County. You know, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh-oh. Hot chocolate? From a penguin? Only the best up here at the North Pole. See? Only the best. But, uh... What about my work hours? Those aren't the best. Well, you know... More? I'm myself. You trust a penguin to be your chef? You don't That's see, awful! You don't see me taste testing, do you? Now, I see why you let me try it first. Later on, I'm going to take these out to Mrs. Downey and Mrs. Cahoe. I won't tell them that you tried it first, so that could be bad news. So, how did you meet Mrs. Claus? It's kind of a long story. I was out going around Egypt, turned left, almost got taken off the road by a magic carpet. You know the uh, you know Aladdin, don't you? Oh You've yeah. Seen that? That's really not a Disney movie. He's that was really a stops by and make fun of us at the shop sometimes. That was really a true story. But anyway, uh, when Aladdin met Jasmine. Jasmine had a sister, and we ran into the sister and kind of went from there. She used to be really, really skinny, but now she's the taste tester. So you know what happens when you're a taste tester. And you got a penguin chef. Yeah. Tend to get a bit big. Brutal. Don't let her know I said that. Brutal. I'll get fired. Eat lots of fish. Of all the places that you've traveled in your journeys across the world to give gifts to the children, where has been your favorite? Well, I would have to say Worthington, Lyons, and Swiss City. Now, you asked me where my least favorite place is. You gonna where ask would me? be your least favorite place? Bloomfield! Man, Bloomfield. man, it's a rough, 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 rough place to, to take gifts. You just drop some coal off on your way over. Oh, lots of coal. Lots of coal. Take a whole train of coal there. The evil, the evil, the evil, the evil, the evil, the evil empire.
So what preparations do you go through to get yourself ready for Christmas? Preparation H. Man, when you have to stay in that sleigh for hours on end, sometimes you need help on the other end. So, the other elves and I were wondering, and this is important for us as workers. No. Where do we come from? Where do you come from? France. You know what? If I was France, I'd be embarrassed. Look at the way you dress. What's wrong with my I dress? I mean, come on, man. You would be on Monday Night Football. You'd be on Come On, man. Look at that hat. Mrs. Claus did this Look at that. that. Those are sweet. That's just sweet. It jingles. Wow. I'm like a cat with a bell leash on. Cat. You always know when I'm coming. Cat-like quickness. Quick cat-cat-like quickness. So, to end this interview, I need to know, will I be getting a raise for this year's Christmas? We've been working awful hard. I think the elves should try to pass a referendum. If you, if, if you want to get a raise, I think the elves should pass a referendum. Right. You think you can make that happen? I don't know. Some of these other elves aren't exactly that smart. That's why they're usually just using hammers and nails. Well, they make nice... I, I like the, the uh, toy trains they make. They do a good job with that. Uh, I know where you're going on vacation. Oh, really? Yep, the Island of Misfit Toys. Oh, joy. You are going to be the mayor this year. I like awesome. your leadership potential, though. like your leadership potential. I, I do know. I do know what I like for Christmas. Is this because I'm taller than all the other elves? Well, Am I getting you know, picked on here? You ate some. You you must have eaten some magic beans. You like beans, don't you? The oh music, yeah. They're the musical fruit. You I know? love them beans. Sometimes we eat beans right before, especially if there's a bad weather forecast and it's going to be really cold. We eat lots of beans. Well, you know, if we don't get that referendum passed, I'm probably going to be feeding the reindeer beans. Well, so you'll have an enjoyable Christmas night. It will be. It'll be warm though. I like that. I like that. Maybe for Christmas, maybe I'll ask for an outdoor heater. How would there that you be? go. There's heat, your Christmas. Heat the sleigh. And for all the good little girls and boys at White River Valley to have a great Christmas. I would like that. That would be, that, that would be meaningful. Spend lots of time with family over the holiday. Uh, I heard Dale started a basketball team. Is that true? Oh, yeah. I'm probably the center right now. About two foot, two and a half feet taller than the next elf on any team. Wow, center? Yep. Center of the bench? Yep. All right. I gotta guard the uh, water. Oh, well, at least we'll have water left at the end of the game. That's a good thing. Yeah, job. it's a pretty important job, but yes, I is. take my duties very seriously. Hey, where'd that penguin go? You need to come and get this. What happened to your hands? I don't think penguins have fingers, Mr. Claus. That penguin doesn't talk either. I don't know about that. Well, I mean, he spends all his time just cooking, making some hot chocolate. You don't have time to think about talking. That's some fabulous stuff. Fabulous. <coughs> well, you heard it here, folks, from Mr. Claus's office. This is Alfonso saying good night. Merry Christmas, everybody.